If you're watching this video, you've probably already had to deal with greatest psionic character questions like this one. You might have gotten them wrong, or maybe even correct, but want an easy trick to quickly answer these correctly all the time. Well, I'm going to show you a trick, but first, a quick note about what it means to have greatest ionic character. It regards ionic compounds, which are commonly referred to as salts. And having greater ionic character means having greater solubility, which means being able to more readily, easily, or quickly dissolve in solvent. Ionic compounds, or salts, consist of positively charged metal atoms from the left side of the periodic table bonded to negatively charged nonmetals from the right side of the periodic table. The greater the positive slope and the longer the line between a metal and the nonmetal it binds to, the more ionic character the salt has. Let's get into the trick with an example of the types of questions I was referring to. Start with eliminating any non-ionic answer choices. For example, A and B are covalent compounds, leaving us with C, D, and E, which are all salts because they all have a metal atom and a non-metal atom. So now, looking at the three salts left in the answer choices, the trick to choosing the salt with the greatest ionic character is to compare the slopes of the lines between the metal and non-metal in each salt. The more positive the slope is, the greater the ionic character. And the most positive slope will simply be the steepest slope pointing upward from left to right. So eliminate any salts with a negative slope and eliminate any salts with a zero slope. Or just choose the salt with the greatest positive slope as the one with the greatest ionic character. This trick works because the greatest ionic character is due to having the greatest electronegativity difference between the metal and the nonmetal in the ionic compound. And the greatest electronegativity difference would be between atoms that are closer to the bottom left corner of the periodic table and atoms closer to the top right corner of the periodic table, creating the greatest positive slope as well as the longest line. You don't have to actually measure the lines or even draw them. Just visualize them between the atoms in the ionic compounds you're comparing on the periodic table and choose the most positive slope. So the simple trick is to eliminate the salts with the negative slopes and choose the salt with the most positive slope which is the green cesium chloride, noticing that the cesium is closest to the bottom left of the periodic table and the chlorine is close enough to the top right of the periodic table, making it the steeper line and the longer line, giving it the greatest ionic character. Once again, simply eliminate any salts with negative slopes and then choose the salt with the steeper and longer slope, which is the red chromium fluoride. So now suppose you're stuck between two that have the same slope, meaning parallel to each other. The greater electronegativity difference will be between the two atoms that are farther apart, or simply put, the longer line. The farther the metal and nonmetal are from each other in the periodic table, the greater the electronegativity difference, and therefore, the greater the ionic character. And now suppose you're stuck between negative slopes and a zero slope. The zero slope is the most positive and therefore will have the greatest electronegativity difference. So do the same, eliminate the salts with the negative slopes and choose the salt with the zero slope, which is the most horizontal line, making it the salt with the greatest ionic character. And finally, if you're stuck between salts with all negative slopes, choose the one that is least negative, which would be the most horizontal line, making it the one with the greatest ionic character. Simple as that.